Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous all that video, we successfully complete our admin portions, right? So here we apply, we set up one of the new theme. So how can do that work? I hope it's very much clear to you. So now in this video, in our font in, so into the font in, I want to load another theme. Okay, so right now before we use that da dashboard, that means our backend theme. So right now I want to, do, I want to use another one. So if you go to your exercise file, that is our the folder as a company. And that is one of the static file. You can see that is index.html if you now open it. So right now for our font in, I want to do, I want to use this theme. Okay, I want to use this theme. So how can add this theme in your Laravel project? In this video, I will show you that things with a live example. So for doing this, first of all, we have to do, we have to learn about that our main route. So I have already discussed about that things with you. So right now we don't need this. And also here, I don't want to save it. I remove it. That means don't save. I remove everything from here. So into the home, that means in our web route, into the web route here, you can see friend, that means when this will be our home directory, it then this functions return view one of the welcome page. So that is the our view. So here, that is our admin portion. So right now I want to work for our main portion. So that is our auth. So that is our profile. Okay. So here you can see this, the dashboard page is now loaded, right? So, sorry, not the dashboard. So that is welcome page. That means this welcome page is now loaded. So that is the welcome page right now I want to do. I want to change it. Okay, so here I want to actually add new one. So if you want to do that work, I show you step by step, everything will be very clear to you. So for doing this in our main view, into the main view area, I want to do and to create one of the new file and I just name it as a home. Okay, home and dot blade blade.php so here i have created one of the new file as a home blade.php and i first of all i also have to do i have to mastering it so into the mastering it that is the layouts so into the layouts folder rather than you can also create one of the new folder right now i want to add this our master file for our home into the layout folder area so into this area i want to create one of the new file and i just name it as a master so that is a master and to the master i name it as a master um underscore home and then dot blade dot php so here i have created one of the master blade dot php so friend if you understand our this admin part into the admin here you can say i load one of the index page i load one of the admin master so if you understand that part it will be very easy to you so into the layout i have also created on the master home master home means here i want to add all that our file that means css jss everything so if you want to do that work uh like that is our theme so that is our index.html first of all i have to do i have to actually add our all that asset file that means here all that asset file i copy it and now go to our project into the project into the public i have already created another folder as a font in right so for the back end i have already saved that asset so right now i want to work for our font in so font in deleted every file i want to save in particular that area so here, first of all, I add all that our CSS and JSS for our this theme. Here I have successfully added. And after that, we have to do, we have to update our link. That means here, that is our index. So I open it. I open it. So that is our index.html. So now I copy everything from here. I select all and copy it and now go to our master home. And here I save it. Okay, friends. So right now we don't need this. So our first work is we have to do, we have to update our all that CSS. Okay. That means all that CSS here we have to update. So our format will be just like that same here. Uh, that will be just like same. Mm, I show you. So here we have to do, we have to add that asset. So that means our main root directory. And after that here, I have created one of the another folder as a font int, right? So I have created another folder as a, this folder as a font int. So now I want to do, I want to actually add this font int, font int, and then the slash. And here also you have to do, you have to update it because into the font int area, I have already saved all that our folder as a asset folder into the asset. There is a vendor, everything is ready made. So right now I want to do, I want to add it. There is a font int, font int. So make that sure you add appropriately. So I simply add it. That is also another one, right? perfect so now also we have to do we have to update our this asset i cut it and here i paste it i paste it paste it and then paste it because css and the jss will be needed right so for the reasons here i simply update it and now i want to do and to cut it 
I want to cut that over this portion, paste it and then cut it and then paste it. So that is the simple process. As I told you friend, if you understand of my uh, admin part, then it not will be very much hard for you. The concept will be just like that same before that was back in. So right now I have created another folder as a font in and now I want to do and to add it on here. Okay. So now I cut it and also here I paste it and I cut it and then paste it. And that is another one. I cut it and paste it. Okay. So now here also we have to do, we have to update our all that images. So I step by step, I will show you. Like first of all, I want to update our JS. Um, that is all that our JS file. So here I take our found in theme, that means found in folder name. So that will be as a found in folder, found in and the found in. And after that, that will be our asset. So here also we have to do, we have to add it. So that will be our asset. All right, that is asset. And now I want to do, I want to cut it. Here also we have to update it, that part. So now I want to update it. Okay, I want to update it. And then here I cut it and then paste it. I cut that JS file, CSS and JSS is very much important. So here that is actually main structure actually. So here I want to do and to cut it and here I paste it. Cut it and the paste it. Okay. So friend, right now I am actually serve, run our server. That means I run with the PHP artisan serve. So our server is now running. So if you do, you can see that is our server is now running with the PHP artisan serve. So make that sure when you run it, then here you don't need to add the public. So if you want to access it directly, then you have to add this public folder name. Okay. So right now it's okay. So right now I want to do and to update this portion. And also there is another one that will be the same as the asset. Okay, that will be an asset and then our this file. I simply update it. Okay. And now I have to do, I have to actually find out our main file. That means here, if you go to our theme, for the every pages, our header will be just like that same, right? Our header will be same, our footer will be same. And also, um, that is our portfolio. That means this, that part, actually our main content part. Okay, so here I want to do, I want to make it as a dynamic. That means for the every pages, our header will be same, our footer will be same, only our this content part will be updated. That means that will be our EL part, right? So now I want to do, I want to segment our EL part. So here, uh, they have everything. So I will, literally I will step by step segment it. Don't worry, everything will be very clear to you. So first of all, I want to segment it with our, um, that is our hero section. So that's hero section means that is our slider. Okay. So I will also um, segment this part. And after that, that is our slider. And that is the, our main ID. Okay, friends. So that is actually the main ID. You can see that is actually main ID and that is our footer part. So now I want to do, I want to actually take our, this main ID. That means main ID means that is actually started from here. That is started from to the, after this position. So that means from here, it should be get all that our content. Okay. So that is a slider. And after the slider, that is our main content part. So here you can see there is actually our about us and that is our some of the text. So that is our about us and there is some of the text. So after this part here, I want to do to take it. That means our main ID. So I take that ID on here. And after this, I select everything. Okay, I select everything and there have also one of the another part as a footer part. So first of all, I want to actually find out our and and main. You can see that is actually the and main. So now this section, I cut it. Okay, I cut this section. I simply cut it from here. So that is our main ID. So this part will be our EL part, right? So that is the same procedure I want to apply. So here I take as EL. That means that will be our EL part and into the EL part where we, whatever the ID you want to pass, you can pass it. So I, now I make it as a home underscore content. 
okay so whatever that name you actually add so i name it as a home content so this home content i want to do i have already created another file as a home so into the home area i paste it okay that means here i paste our total main id okay friend so here i simply paste it so from to the main content part i everything i get it and here i make it on here that means a home so into the home area what exactly we have to do here we have to extend it right so we have to extend so i show you like here i name it as extent okay that means the extends and into the extends area right now our main master file we have to include so our main master file into the layouts folder into the layouts and there is a master home right so now i'm going to add it that sorry that will be extends okay that means x e x t e n d s extends perfect and now here i want to do and to add our layouts folder because that means the layouts folder and into the layouts folder i have created one of the file as a master because into the master area i have already added all the tower css and the jss right so now that will be our master blade so that master blade with this master blade we will get all the tower everything that means from here we get all the tower slider we get the css everything we will get right and also we will get our footer so right now that is also that is our section area that means into this section area our this home blade will be include that means it will be loaded on here so if you want to load it they have also one of the section id i have created i name it as a section so that means the section and our section id i have already declared into the el part as a home content so now i copy it and now here it will be as a home content and also after that we have to do we have to end it right so now i want to do after this okay after this i want to do i want to end it as a and and then section perfect so friend that's all you have to do i hope friend it's very much clear to you so into the our master here i make it our el part as a main content part so main content part all that contain i save it in our home and also here i declared that with our section so that means into the home content section whatever the things we will put it will be loaded in our this main content area okay that is main id area so now i want to do i want to load our this page that means this home page okay that the home page i want to load so if you want to load it if you go to our web into the web before that is our return view as a welcome blade that means this page so right now i want to do and to load our this home page so here if you want to load it i make it as a home okay that means our home page will be now loaded so now if you click as a save all and now go here here that is our page now refresh it so that is our home page right yes you can see how much easily it's now successfully updated that means right now it's perfectly getting our header part perfectly getting our slider perfectly getting our about services the portfolio image is not visible because of all i didn't put that link and then there is our client and then our footer part okay so everything is now successfully loaded so here if you want to show your all that images so here then you have to do and uh, that means here if you go to our home blade into the home blade so our master blade into the master blade that is actually our slider right so that is our slider so into the slider i want to do and to actually update this slider so if you want to update it it will be as the same it will be as a, this one and then i make it with the same, same uh, first bracket and then it will be as acid okay that will be as a asset and then how i have created as a font in folder okay font in folder so then we have to update it so that's all now if you click at the save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see our image is now perfectly loaded so here i have updated one image so now i also want to do the same things for our rest of this better i copy it okay copy whole things from here and then that is our another one i better that is actually the slider two rather than everything will be just like that same so i make it as a slider i will be as a two and then there is another one i make it as a space and it will be as a slider three okay friend now if you close the save all and now if you refresh it yeah that is our first image that is our second image 
and also there is a third image that means every image is now successfully loaded and also there is a portfolio so here if you want to update it that your portfolio you can update it so here also you have to do you have to update it our path link actually so that is in our um, i have already updated it take, take the things in our home right because of all so everything that is our from to the, our about so from to the about everything i have already included with our clients i have included it in our this home blade so into the home blade here you can see that is our about so now i also want to do and to update this part so that is actually one of the path so here i don't want to use this path better i remove it okay so i remove this part i don't i literally i will actually make it dynamic step by step don't worry so right now i actually minimize everything from our home blade there is a path we don't need this path and then that is actually our portfolio section right so into the portfolio here you can see they have some of the images so now i want to do and to update that image the concept will be just like that same so here you have to do you have to add it with the asset asset and then here that will be as a font int font int and then asset so right now literally i will also make it as a dynamic okay so i will do that work so better i cut it and here i paste it so that will be as a portfolio one that means the same uh, i copy it sorry i copy it and here i want to do and to update it that will be as a portfolio two that means everything will be just like that same i paste it it will be as a portfolio two so that will be as a portfolio two first of all i want to check it click the save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see picture is now successfully loaded so if you click the add now our next picture is visible right so i hope you can well understand about it friend how can do that work so that is our portfolio here you have to do you have to actually update it, all that your portfolio okay so that will be actually three so now here i want to make it as a three as a three and a three so that is your task to update your everything so don't worry because of all here little you will remove everything here i make it i will make it as a dynamic part and also there is another one for the our client so that is a client portion i also want to make it as a dynamic so here if you want to display your right now image then it should be just like that same okay that means the asset and then the our font in font in folder and then our asset okay so now i cut it and then here i paste it now click as a save all so our one uh, client image that means brand logo should be visible okay so here you can see it's now perfectly visible so friend here um, right now i want to do step by step i want to make it as a dynamic okay so i have already created one of the client page remember i have already created one of the client brand page so i want to do and to load all that our brand dynamically in particular that area so here i will do that things later so right now we successfully load our total theme right that is our font that is our header part that is our slider part that is our main content part and that is our footer part so in the next video i want to do i want to actually segment it i want to segment our footer part i want to segment our main content part that means that is actually main content part and that is our slider part and also header part that means here i want to create different page and i want to include everything in our this uh, master okay so how we can do that work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video